Hey YouTube, bike is looking good. Um, my bro totally did me a favor. Um, he scraped off all the stupid tribal crap. Once again, Schwinn, you make a good bicycle, but your decals are just stupid. Um, everything's working good. It's super reliable. I've been taking this thing around the block. I probably put something like, I don't know, just three or four miles on it. Absolutely getting no crap whatsoever from the drivetrain here. Um, no, no crap from the transmission whatsoever. She's working fine. The only thing is um, I'm topping out at 40 miles an hour. That's with my GPS. That's with this little bike computer, little Schwinn bike computer. And by the way, this has been surprisingly accurate because um, the, the GPS, the deviation at 40 miles an hour between this and the GPS was only something like literally one mile per hour difference. So I was really impressed with how accurate that was. I thought it was going to be like at least three or four miles off. So kudos to uh, the little bike computer thing. Gas tank needed some better screws. Um, for the cost of this thing, not so bad. I had a better gas tank somebody hooked me up with, but it, it just leaked gas, and I couldn't have that. Um, this screw right here is just a nylon washer, uh, nylon nut. Um, they, they, they lock on threads for all you guys unfamiliar with them. Awesome little doohickey. The, the, wa the screws and the hardware this thing came with, crap. I hated it. And it actually shook loose. I ended up like just wrapping electrical tape around it just, just during some test runs. Looked horrible, but it worked. Whatever. Um, brakes are working great. Absolutely no complaints whatsoever there. I'm leaking a tiny bit of oil, but I keep checking the oil. And um, I, I'm still holding enough to be okay with it. I don't know what I'll do. Put in some, I don't know, some oil thickener or something like that to see if I can stop that, stop that problem. It might just be the oil... Um, relief plugs or whatever the drainage plugs are they might just be needed to be screwed down just a little bit tighter it's a leak that's so slow I'm not concerned with it this guy is getting very reliable brakes are working fine transmission engine everything is working it hasn't died on me carburetor seems to be cleaning itself out I put about four miles on it now and um, you know I've driven it my brother's driven it I see no reason why this can't be just, um, wouldn't call it a daily driver, but a weekend vehicle is a great term for this. And it's getting very reliable. Uh, I like the idea I have two braking systems, so if one of them broke in an emergency, I could get my way home driving real slow. To be honest with you, I'm just using the rear brakes 90% of the time, and I'm only using the front brakes just for, you know, really, really feathered stops and that kind of a thing. One thing I'd like to look into is, please, if anybody knows about four-cycle engines more than me, the kill switch, I know, is running a lot of juice off of it. I'm wondering what would happen if I tried to run a light off the front of the bike with it. I don't know. Maybe that would work. Maybe it wouldn't. I'll just, I'll just jerry-rig something one day with a light and see what happens, basically. Um, I, I got plenty of 12-volt lights sitting around here from car parts and this kind of stuff. Um, I even have bulbs from, where is it, I even have bulbs from cars that are sitting around here that have been unused. I'll see what I can do, slap something together there, just see if it works, see if it works and runs. And then, you know, a nice light right here. Um, heck, maybe even Pet Boys has a kit for $10. Um, remember, uh, just have to do pedals at this point, just pedals, that's it. Just pedals. I'm driving up and down alleyways, looking for bikes hanging out of dumpsters. Anything that has pedals, that's all I care about. The bike could be run over by a car as long as it has pedals and the jack shaft. Not even so much the jack shaft. I'm perfectly ready to fabricate my own. You guys have a better idea here. I'm not going to chop up this bike because this one doesn't belong to me, obviously. But um, just the part of the assembly of the bike that the pedals go into that guy right there the bearing I don't know how well you can see that in the pedals that's all I need to complete this project at this point um a light would be nice still working on that brake light still perfecting that thing that's some work right there it's not broken but it's not doing exactly what I want so I'll come back to that um, thinking about a little horn 
I don't know if it's cheap. I found something lying around the garage as I was cleaning it out. Part of an old alarm system. And if you guys, you know, know me at this point, you know that I love anything for free. I was thinking about just putting a horn on here, just because I have it, just to see if it works. Uh, the one thing I'm really, the one thing I'm just kind of disappointed at is I'm hitting the wall at 40 miles an hour. I'm topping out at 40 miles an hour. And my original goal on this guy was at least 45 miles an hour. So, uh, I'm looking at what other people are doing, and I'm looking at comparable engines, and I'm saying, why can't this thing do 45 miles an hour at least? And we're not talking about, you know, after, I, yeah, I guess about a quarter of a mile of running, you know, and uh, why, why can't it do 45 miles an hour? So, um, the rear sprocket's definitely going to stay, because it's just too perfect. It's just too perfect. And the only thing that's left to do is monkey with that uh, sprocket that's part of the torque converter. Now, I've got 10 teeth right there. So, you guys remember I'm running a 6 horsepower engine through the TAV to 10 teeth to 72 teeth on a 20 inch rim. So, maybe some engine gurus out there will chime in and tell me what's going wrong and what I you know need to do and this sort of thing. But... I'm hitting the wall at 40 miles an hour. I even tried taking off the muffler. Oh yeah, did an okay job with the muffler. She just bolts up right here, just like this. Even uses original hardware. And it's nice and out of the way. Not to mention the exhaust fumes are even directed down for further sound dampening. It's nice and quiet. Um, I even took off the muffler, and I even took off the air filter just for one quick run to see if I could get more, you know, punch out of it, and I only got a half a mile per hour faster during my, you know, top speed or whatever. So, I, I don't know, I, I guess I'm just hunting for that last 10 miles an hour, and I tell, I'm telling myself that once I hit 50 miles an hour with this thing, 5-0 miles an hour, that I'll be happy, that I'll be satisfied, and I can let the engine transmission just kind of do its thing and just working and just start working on other stuff I don't know and just kind of put this project to bed for majority of the time and you know focus and just call it my weekend vehicle that's all I'm really want in this project is just a nice streetable weekend vehicle uh, that's the bit for now YouTube and uh, once again very happy with how this turned out I just need just just 20% more power, just 20% more speed, and I'll be happy. I'll be happy.